Hey, I'm Horny. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Kevin Horny. I race Moto America Super Sport with Apex Manufacturing and SWG Motorsports. Uh, I'm Horny with an EY. That's my last name. Uh, I have to open with that. Who wouldn't with the last name like that? I love it. But yeah, basically, this is just going to be the story, uh, kind of the last two years or so of my life, where I went from getting in police chases to getting in pro races. Uh, I've talked about it a lot on social media and, you know, in podcasts, but I've never really just sat down and, and made my own video about it. Uh, I always liked watching vlogs and stuff like that, and then I like making my own videos. I've been doing it since I was a little kid, so let's get into it. So this story kind of starts way back when I was two years old uh, in this exact same yard. My parents taught me how to ride a dirt bike before they taught me how to ride a bicycle. Uh, so I started racing when I was younger. Uh, I raced dirt bikes until I was like 14 locally, just getting hurt all the time, not, not really having any direction or anyone to work with me, uh, just ripping. Uh, so I was pretty natural with being on two wheels and then flash forward, you know, I'm 18 and I get my first street bike, a CBR 600 F4i. Uh, just be an idiot, not not enjoying it, putting myself in dangerous situations. Uh, maybe I'll tell the main story about why I sold that bike after two months, but not right now. And then we get into uh, my S1000. When I was 20, I bought a 2018 S1000 with mono, no motorcycle license, rode it home, and for the next you know three, four months, I was street riding and not having fun. Every time I rode my bike in Mexico, I would get in a police chase or you know almost die and it sucked really bad i just i didn't like it i wasn't having fun i was just going super fast being a squid and this is kind of where the the track day story starts uh you know i had my bike for sale and i had started doing some research into into track days i had no idea up until this point that track days existed or moto america and i would posted a video of me doing a wheelie in the sport bike track time group and got made fun of for being a squid, which obviously. And that's when Owen Johnson from Sport Bike Track Time, the Northern Director, hit me up and was like, hey, you should, you should come try riding your S1000 at the racetrack. And I was like, holy cow, you know, let's do it, that, that's sick. So I started learning about, uh, you know, prepping my bike for track days and getting the gear and kind of educating myself on track days and Sport Bike Track Time. And, and this is where the, the kind of second chapter uh, of this starts, this is where I'm, I'm going to the track. So I wanna say my first track day was uh, around July of 2022, my novice novice days. Uh, I had a blast. I was pretty freaked out the first time I went on the track. I was like, holy cow, you know, this is crazy. What's a line? What's trail breaking? What's blah, blah, blah. I had no clue what was going on, but I got into it pretty quick and the coaches really helped me and the coaching staff is absolutely phenomenal with sport bike track time. And, so as a community, I mean, that's one of the main reasons I got hooked is how nice everyone was and how helpful everyone was. It, it's just a safe place for me, I guess. Um, and yeah, for the next about three months, I was doing track days, just you know, getting, a, getting in as much riding as I could every weekend, learning as much as I could and, and kind of getting through the SDT groups. Uh, and this is where the next part starts is getting my race license. So yeah, three months into, into track riding, I hit up Owen, I'm like, hey, I want to get my race license. You know, I want to go race. I want to race Moto America, which is crazy to think I wanted to race Moto America three months into track riding, but I'm now making this video, so it worked. Uh, so Owen, instead of, you know, responding with, you know, okay, let's do it. He responded with the schedule for the CCS Daytona Race of Champions. And he was like, hey, you're going to enter the race license course. You're going to get your race license and you're going to go race this race weekend. And that's what I did. So I got the race license with Dave Vaughn. It was awesome. The, the SDT race license course is amazing. And yeah, this is, this is kind of the next chapter where I'm, I'm going club racing. All right, so we're, we're doing track days. You know, I got my race license. Owen took me under his wing and, and kind of taught me everything uh, that I needed to know about track riding up until this point. And thank you so much, Owen. You've truly, you've changed my life for the better. Uh, without you, I, I don't think I would be doing this. So I really appreciate everything you've taught me and, and just who you are as a person. If you guys know Owen, he's amazing. But, you know, now I'm at Daytona. I drove to Daytona, did my first race weekend ever at Daytona International Speedway. Crazy. It was an insane experience, especially on an S1000 RR. Uh, but yeah, I left that weekend with, I think, like five or six podiums. I, I know I got a national championship. And 
you know, the races were amazing. It, it was such an awesome experience, especially for a first race weekend. But, you know, after that, after that happened, I, I got my expert bump, my club racing expert bump, and which eliminated me needing to do a full amateur season. Uh, since I got the national championship, I got the expert bump. So I just went straight to expert, which, you know, I had a few people tell me not to do that, but I was like, well, let's go, let's go out with the fast guys. The only way to get faster is to ride with faster people. So that's when I got uh, the expert bump after my first race weekend, which is awesome. So, you know, I wrap up, I wrap up Daytona, but something else happened that weekend. I had seen, uh, another rider, Carl Soltis, who's one of my good friends now. He had blown his bike up or had a bike issue on the banking at Daytona. And I saw him pushing his bike. I was like, there's no way I could let this dude do that by himself. Like he just got off the track. It, it might be a far walk and it was. So I helped him push his bike back and we kind of became friends from there. Um, and moving forward, this is, this is the stage where I'm going club racing on my S1000, you know, crashing a little bit, just trying to figure out how to get faster racing all these 1000 expert racers, you know, what now maybe five months into track riding and in expert races, which once again, crazy. Uh, and we're coming around to the Daytona 200 for Moto America. And I reached out to Carl. I said, hey, Carl, you know, do you need any help with your pit crew? Uh, you know, I'd love to come check it out. And thankfully, Carl said yes. Uh, and I got to go to my first Moto America event and be on the pit crew of, of Carl Soltis and, and see the Daytona 200 up close and personal and see the Moto America paddock and fall in love with that. Um, it was, it was pretty surreal and yeah, I just, I had a blast. It was so much fun. And instantly I was like, oh my God, this is, this is what I want to do. I want to go race Moto America. Um, and I'd met someone else that weekend. Uh, and thankfully, you know, Carl had, had brought me into this weekend. I'm super thankful for that, Carl. Uh, if you're watching this, I really appreciate it. And he introduced me to AJ, who's now my uh, current pit crew chief. And, you know, me and AJ met and we kind of talked and I told him, you know, I want to go race Moto America. I'm about, I'm about to get my Moto America license. I almost have all the points. And we had agreed from there that I was going to rent Carl's R6 to try racing a 600 uh, at a club race at Talladega and wrap up getting my Moto America points requirements. So, you know, we go to Talladega and I race the R6, fall in love with the platform. Thanks, Carl, for letting me rent it fall in love with the platform, you know, I get some podiums, uh, I get enough points to get my Moto America license. And then that following Monday, there was a test for the Moto America round at Road Atlanta. And Carl's R6 that I'd rented was having some issues. And Richard Harris, the owner of Apex Manufacturing, happened to be there with this absolutely stunning Apex Manufacturing Yamaha R6. This is actually Jason DeSalvo's bike from the Daytona 200. So that's sick, if you know who Jason DeSalvo is. Uh, and he let me try riding it and instantly I was in love and I bought the bike and you know long story short from there we we kind of agreed that we wanted to go racing together um, and this is kind of the, the stage of, of developing my riding and, and working with Richard uh, a lot he was, he's absolutely amazing him and AJ have, have really taken me and, and developed me into you know the rider I am now and are still trying and working with me and developing me um, so yeah, you know, I spent a bunch of time with Richard riding, developing, just trying to keep me safe. And uh, man, all these people I'm mentioning, you know, they've completely changed my life in, in so many ways and changed the, the path I was on. And I'm extremely thankful for all of them. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be racing if it wasn't for these people and, and everyone that supported me and my family. So I just wanted to touch on that. So I got the Moto America license. I've been working with Richard and developing a lot as a rider. And he's, uh, you know, been focused on keeping me safe and, and making sure I'm doing things the right way and working on the fundamentals and, and really just developing me as a rider, uh, him and AJ together. So thank you guys. Um, and, you know, we're coming around to, to my first Moto America race. Uh, Going to debut at Barber 2023. And, and just to put this in perspective, that's what, seven months after my first ever club race uh, and 10 months after my first track day, I'm getting ready to race my first Moto America race at Barber on my Apex Manufacturing R6. And what, you know, I show up, I, I long story short, I show up, uh, you know, my second time ever riding at Barber, my first time there on a 600. I qualify, I, I make the show, I popped a motor, but that's a story for another time. Um, 
I make the show, I qualify, you know, we're in the race. It, it was a crazy race in and of itself. Uh, it was the extended race. And I don't know how many laps I want. It was like 20, 25 or 26 laps in. I put myself in a situation and I had to decide between hitting another rider and tucking the front and crashing out. So I didn't hit the other rider. So I tucked the front, crashed out and just completely destroyed my collarbone. Uh, you know, I have, I'll have a video up here, but yeah, broke my collarbone in my first pro race ever. Uh, so that was a learning experience to say the least. Um, but you know, I proved to myself that I could do it and yeah, from there pretty much just, you know, two weeks later, I was back on a bike after my surgery. Um, you know, just, just getting back to developing my riding and my racecraft uh, as much as I could every weekend club racing. You know, I did, uh, I did the pit race six hour endurance with Logan Monk, Austin Miller, and Jared Trees, that was an amazing experience before the Moto America pit race of 2023. That weekend was great. I qualified. I finished both races. I want to say I got 22nd or 24th. Um, you know, and from there, just, just more club racing as many weekends as I can. And I went for New Jersey in 2023 and didn't qualify. So that was the first, first and only so far Moto America round I haven't qualified for. That's a story for, for its own. You know, that's a story within itself of, of why I didn't qualify, but, you know, I just didn't qualify and I learned from it. And that kind of brings us to, to this year. And, you know, I'm still developing as a rider. I always hope to be, I always plan on it and I'm still working with Richard and AJ and, and things are going really good this year, uh, to say the least. You know, I'm racing the Apex Manufacturing Triumph 765 Daytona Moto2 in Moto America Supersport. And, you know, we've been killing it. Uh, you know, in my personal, personal opinion for, for, and where I started and, and where I'm at now, we've been doing a great job and I'll be making a video on that, uh, you know, my season update as a whole, but it's going amazing. Uh, Apex Manufacturing and SWG Motorsports doing a great job. I'm so thankful for you guys. Uh, and I can't wait for 2025, but getting ready for New Jersey this year right now. And yeah, I guess the point of this video is, is just to kind of tell my story in a longer format and, you know, show people that it is possible to not know anything about track day riding uh, or racing and get into it and start doing it. Uh, you know, street, street riding is not your only option. You, you can go to the track and, and meet great people and, and learn amazing things on your motorcycle and ride your sport bike in a sport bike manner without dealing with the law or dealing with the cars. Uh, it's just safer. And, you know, it just blows my mind that three or four years ago, I didn't know that existed. I was just putting myself in harm's way and being well, an idiot. Uh, and I'm so thankful for everyone, you know, I mentioned in, in this video that it's taken the time to, to help me learn this and man, just completely changed my life. So, so the whole point of, of what I want to do from here is, is help people learn about track riding and, and racing and I don't know, just give my, my experiences and give a little insight and, you know, take you guys along for, for the process of, of the stage I'm at now, which is figuring out how to continue going pro racing and continue developing my riding and my racecraft and just getting better. So yeah, I'm gonna start making vlogs and, and start working on some other content creation ideas I have, but I figured I might as well make a video telling my story, uh, you know, of how I went from the police chases to the pro races. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're on to this year now and you know, I'll make my own video about this season as a whole, but I just can't express enough how thankful I am for, for everyone that's helped me and all the support I've been getting uh, from everyone. I can't thank my sponsors enough, Apex Manufacturing, SWG Motorsports, Dunlop Tires, Bison, uh, Bison Leathers, Arai, uh, Talladega Grand Prix Raceway, Sport Bike Track Time, the Wexler Group, uh, my family, and Southern Pride Performance, Chris Simcoe, you know, all you guys helped me so much. And I don't know, I just wanna try and help everybody else that, that's interested in motorcycles and interested in going to the track and stuff like that. And it's just really fun and I, I like making videos. So yeah, I'm just gonna start doing it now. Uh, sorry if this, you know, it's hard to follow, but I hope to get better at it just like riding. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much my video uh, and have a great day.